Hey guys, welcome to Invisible Jiu Jitsu. We've got Sid here today. We're going to show you a nice little no gi choke, a five finger guillotine this time. So you've seen the video on the ten finger guillotine that I posted. That's up in this corner right now. Now it's the five finger. It's only one hand. Okay. Two setups. They're both very similar. One from standing, one from on the ground. So from standing, we start in the 50-50. Here, I'm going to give him a little bump to try and cross my head. So as I bump, I cross my head and I come back. From here, I'm now going to get a nice underhook high and I'm going to start to move him. Okay? I want to get over the top of his head. If I can get to my chin strap, fantastic. Okay? So from here, if I can move him down, fantastic. If I can't, I come to my uh, head control and I snap. Now from here, the way I'm going to put him on the ground and finish this from side control is by getting my underhook nice and high and by folding his head underneath it. So I fold the head and I turn and I circle here. As soon as I get here, I don't let go of his head. I switch through to start form and I finish. You want to come around so you can see? So I still have the head, elbow squeezed to me, and I fold his head. Remember, anytime I have a 10, a 10 or a 5 finger guillotine, I want to put my hand in his neck, and I want to fold his neck onto him to increase the power of the choke. So again, 50-50, and I can do a head pull to create my head in the pocket, or I can go boom to create my head in the pocket, underhook, snap down, and we get that chin strap control. This is what I want here, okay? Like I'm holding a football underneath my arm, very tight with my elbow. My underhook, I want to punch nice and high, so I get my elbow on his back. If he tries to whizzer now, very strong underhook, because he's just hitting my elbow into his back. I don't want to be here where he whizzes, and I get caught in that John Jones Americana here. And now I'm going to fold his head, circle, push. Okay? Sit through to my star fold. And then I'm driving my thumb into his neck. Okay? So the choking part of the choke is right here, this thumb. So that's from standing. We can do almost exactly the same thing off, say, a failed takedown. He tries to shoot. I sprawl, I hit my front headlock, and I collect his arm. Remember, I want to put my hand deep into his back to jack this arm up and stop him from pulling me straight back down. It's not this. I'm not trying to move him here. I'm trying to get to here. And then I circle. Okay? If his head pops out now, that's okay. I still have side control. I can still work from here. But if I keep the head, I just sit through and I pick up his head, okay? Should be a choke, shouldn't be a 100% crack. There should be a choking element here, okay? Again, he shoots, <laughs> underhook deep and I start to work my angle. Okay, let's just come around. So I work my angle, I get to here and then I run him through, dip the head, take him over. And here is my five finger go to I can trap this arm and if that doesn't work we can start attacking other things afterwards. Thanks very much guys. Thank you to Sid for letting me choke. We've just finished our Nogi class today. If you like the video, leave a like on the video, share with all your friends, support Invisible Jiu Jitsu and we'll see you again.